The use of UPI. The UPI has become the most inclusive mode of payment in India with over 26 crore unique users and 5 crore merchants on the platform. Not so long ago, when you buy vegetables from your local seller, you'd pay in cash. But if you were dining at a fancy five-star restaurant, you'd flash your credit card. There's almost like a class divide for how we paid for things. But today, you can use your phone to pay with UPI. This mode of payment is accepted by almost every small to big vendor and used in peer-to-peer -peer transactions as well. In India, an average of 3 lakh UPI transactions happen every minute. And thanks to the cheap and accessible internet in India, its usage isn't only restricted to the urban areas. If you would have traveled recently to a domestic to the destination, you'd notice that most of these places accept UPI. Talking about travel, I recently went on a Euro trip. And this wasn't the only thing I missed there. Buying anything was such a hassle. Either I didn't have the change or they didn't accept cards. Thankfully, India has come a long way from such hassles in a very short period. And probably that's why these countries have signed an MOU with India and would soon be launching UPI in their own country. And since technology exports are rare from India, this is something to be proud of. UPI or Unified Payment Interface has broken down old barriers and made transactions simple and accessible for everyone. Today, I'm diving into how UPI is reshaping India's financial landscape. We'll explore the transformative impact, the benefit it brings, the challenge it faces, and what the future might look like. In the year 2016, National Payments Corporation of India launched UPI. What started as a simple platform for instant bank transfers on smartphones has now grown into powerhouse. Initially launched with 21 banks, UPI now boasts a vast network of banks and payment service providers. At the beginning of this year, UPI transaction reached a then record of 18.41 trillion rupees in transaction for the month of January. This figure is 52% higher in volume and 42% higher in value for the same month last year. And if this is not the sign of the rise of the planet of the UPI, I don't know what is. And this is not a fluke at all. All these numbers are on the rise and have crossed 19 trillion mark twice since March. This report from NPCI showcases the rapid adoption among Indian consumers and businesses. One of the most significant advantages of UPI is its amazing convenience. Users can initiate transactions round the clock, seven days a week, totally eliminating the constraints of the banking hours. Moreover, UPI's seamless transfers between different banks and payment apps fosters financial inclusion by bridging the gaps between urban and rural areas as we discussed earlier. But UPI has done more than this. As a part of Indian government's Digital India initiative, UPI has been a game changer, promoting a cashless economy and cutting down on the need for physical currency. This shift not only makes transactions smoother, but also saves a significant amount of money on printing cash, savings that ultimately benefits taxpayers like you and me. With quick and secure transactions, UPI has encouraged merchants to adopt digital payment solutions thereby boosting transparency, efficiency, and tax compliance. But the truth is that the rise of UPI has disrupted traditional payment methods such as cash and credit cards. Merchants, especially small and medium enterprises, have embraced UPI-enabled QR code payments as a cost-effective alternative to traditional point-of-sale terminals. This is why over 5 crore merchants were using UPI till the end of last year with over 30 crore individuals paying through it. As a result, this contributes heavily to the fact that more than 40% of all payments in India are done digitally. In fact, UPI is projected to secure 90% of all retail transactions by the year 2028. What is even more amazing is that countries like Bhutan, Oman, UAE, UK, and several other Southeast Asian countries have collaborated with India and their bodies like NPCI and Bheem UPI to simplify transaction not just for their citizens, but also for the Indian tourists traveling to their countries. One of the most remarkable achievements of UPI 
is its penetration into rural areas, where traditional banking infrastructure is often limited. According to a data analysis by SBI, rural and semi-urban areas account for 60% share in UPI in terms of value and volume. It has seen a surge of 118% in semi-urban and rural stores. This refutes the widespread belief that UPI and digital payments are exclusively used in large cities and other urban areas, because both urban centers and metro cities clock at only 20% each. While UPI is widely used for small value transactions, its versatility extends to larger transactions as well. The transaction value on UPI has witnessed steady growth, with users increasingly leveraging UPI for a wide range of payments, including bill payments, online shopping, peer-to-peer -peer transfers. The average ticket size for the e-commerce portfolio, which includes grocery, grooming, toys, and healthcare products, was pegged at Rs 1,586. At the same time, the branded shop category, which has products like consumer electronics, mobile accessories, kitchen appliances, among others, saw the average transaction value at Rs 3,184. If you're purely looking at the value comparison, UPI transaction will fare much less than that of a credit card payments, as the latter is mostly used for bigger sum of payments. So while UPI volume is on a rise and takes a significant portion of digital payments, it is not amounting to the high value transaction usually. This is probably down to the limit on the transaction through UPI, which may increase soon. Is UPI secure? While UPI transactions are inherently secure, NPCI and participating banks have implemented robust security measures to safeguard against frauds and unauthorized access. Steps like two-factor authentication, encryption protocols, and real-time transaction monitoring are among the measures implemented to enhance the security and the integrity of the UPI ecosystem. All these insights and figures underscore the transformative impact of UPI in India's payment landscape. So before I go, if next time you are having a discussion about UPI payments through QR codes, ask them if they know the full form of QR. If they give you a quick response, good for them. And by the time you would have finished watching this video, India would have made around 2 million transactions through UPI.